In World War I, carrier pigeons were used extensively for communication. One of the most famous pigeons, Cher Ami, delivered a critical message that saved nearly 200 soldiers of the 77th Infantry Division during the Battle of the Argonne Forest. Despite being shot, blinded in one eye, and having a leg hanging only by a tendon, Cher Ami completed her mission. She was later awarded the French Croix de Guerre for her bravery and became a symbol of wartime resilience. When the British developed the first armored vehicles in World War I, they sought to keep their purpose secret from German intelligence. They referred to these new weapons as water tanks to give the impression they were merely storage containers. This led to the name tank, becoming the term for armored combat vehicles. The use of these tanks in battle revolutionized ground warfare and changed military strategies. During Christmas 1914, an unofficial ceasefire occurred along the Western Front. British and German soldiers emerged from their trenches, shared food, sang carols, um, and even played a soccer match in no man's land. This spontaneous truce illustrated the shared humanity of soldiers on both sides, despite the brutal conflict. However, the truce was short-lived, and the war resumed with its previous intensity. The U.S. Ghost Army in World War II was a top-secret unit that used deception tactics to mislead the Germans. They used inflatable tanks, fake radio transmissions, and sound effects to create the illusion of large troop movements. Their operations were highly successful, contributing to the Allied victories in Europe. This creative and innovative use of deception played a crucial role in confusing and demoralizing German forces. Dogs played vital roles in both world wars. They served as messengers, sentries, and scouts, detecting mines and warning of enemy presence. The most famous war dog, Sergeant Stubby, served in World War I, participating in 17 battles, capturing a German spy, and even receiving several medals for bravery. His efforts not only saved countless lives, but also boosted the morale of the troops he served with. The Great Escape from Stalag Luft III in March 1944 involved over 600 Allied prisoners digging three tunnels named Tom, Dick, and Harry. Although only 76 prisoners managed to escape before the tunnels were discovered, the daring breakout inspired the famous film The Great Escape, and it remains a legendary tale of ingenuity and bravery. The escape attempt showcased the prisoners' resourcefulness and determination to regain their freedom. On D-Day, June 6, 1944, the Allies used dummy paratroopers, known as Rupert Dolls, to mislead the Germans about the actual invasion points. These dummies were dropped away from the main landing sites, creating the illusion of a larger force and causing German troops to divert their defenses. This clever deception tactic helped to minimize casualties and secure the success of the Normandy landings. The Battle of the Bulge was the last major German offensive campaign on the Western Front during World War II. American troops, particularly the 101st Airborne Division, found themselves surrounded in the town of Bastogne. Despite severe shortages of supplies and ammunition, they held their ground until reinforcements arrived, earning high praise for their resilience. The successful defense of Bastogne was a turning point in the battle and contributed to the eventual Allied victory. The German Enigma machine was a complex cipher device used for secure military communications. The Allies' ability to crack the Enigma code, thanks to the efforts of Polish and British code breakers, most notably Alan Turing, provided critical intelligence that helped win many key battles, including the Battle of the Atlantic. This breakthrough in cryptography was a significant factor in shortening the war and saving countless lives. During World War II, women took on many roles traditionally held by men, who were now fighting overseas. The Women's Army Corps, a WAC, and similar organizations saw women working as mechanics, pilots, and in administrative positions. The Soviet Union even had all-female sniper units, with some, like Lyudmila Pavlichenko, becoming highly decorated. Women's contributions on the home front and in military roles were essential to the war effort and paved the way for future gender equality.